Welcome back, everyone, to the Arizona Diamondbacks franchise here on MLB The Show 19. As today, we're going to continue to make our way through June. Last episode, we played that game against the Dodgers, absolutely dominating, winning that one 10 to 1 in dominant fashion. Today, we're going to be playing the Giants and the Padres. Two more divisional foes as you take a look. We have a comfortable four point lead over the Dodgers. Rockies back by four and a half. And Colorado was recently in the lead, so they have sort of fallen off a little bit as our Diamondbacks have gotten a pretty big injury as of recent. Bench platoon player Leary Garcia broke his arm. He's going to be out one to two months. So because of that, we're going to be calling up Brian Goodwin from AAA Reno. Goodwin has plenty of major league experience. He's a nice bench power bat for the LA Angels. Other than that, the lineup's going to stay the same. Everyone's doing their thing, especially Jake Lamb. 20 home runs, 283. Moustakas has been great. Uh, Mookie Betts has been really solid this year in his first season as a Diamondback. Pretty much everyone is playing well for the most part. And the hitting is why this team has been as good as it has. Last year, it was more about the pitching. This year, it's about the bats. And looking at the rotation, uh, someone who sticks out to me as of recent is Tywan Walker. He's been great the past two years, but this year he got off to a slow start. He's definitely performing better as of late. And then look at Frankie Montas' ERA, up to 4.52. It's been in the twos for the longest time, and it just randomly shot up. So if he continues to struggle, maybe John Duplantier gets his spot in the rotation back as we got some interdivision Major League Baseball. San Francisco Giants set to take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. On the mound today for the D-backs will be Taiwan Walker. I didn't show his thing for some reason. Don't question it as he strikes out Chris Shaw. There's Andrew Suarez on the mound for the Giants. So here's Marcelo Zuno with one out. He's shopping cap, getting Arizona a quick base runner. As Zuna is going to stand up for a one-out double. Can the D-backs take advantage of this opportunity? No, they don't. Mookie Betts grounds out to shortstop, so... That was a failed chance for Arizona as we go to the second inning now. Buster Posey up at the dish. And that one, look at it. Nick Williams almost totally bobbled it. He's lucky to have held on to it. But he does nonetheless as we go bottom two for David Peralta. He's going to swing and miss of a high heat. Nice pitch from Suarez. As not too long later in the inning, it's Marcus Simeon. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a bomb. And Simeon. We'll put Arizona on the board. Quick 2-0 lead. Or 1-0 lead, sorry. As that's going to be his 14th of the year. And then Wellington Castillo would ground out into a 6-4-3 double play. But Giants uh, infield is more chemistry than a science project. Let's go top three now at the hot corner. It's Mike Moustakis making the play. Getting out to Jake Lamb. Nice out right there as we go bottom three now for Marcel Ozuna. And he will beat out the throw to first. Excellent hustle from Ozuna. Can Arizona capitalize? No, they don't. Simple fly out to Starlin Castro as we move on to the fourth. Willington Castillo has to get dirty for that one, but he does get the out nonetheless. And then Buster Posey also going in the dirt. So Jake Lamb is out for whatever reason. I don't get that. Two runners do advance, though, but still, I don't know why he was out. And then Willington Castillo is just going to fly out to end the inning. So let's go sixth inning now for Allen Hansen. And he's going to lay off the bunt. And he's going to be gunned down at first. Excellent throw from Taiwan Walker. Hansen could do nothing but tip his cap. Of course, Hansen hit a walk-off against this team earlier in the year. As later in the sixth inning, it starts to fall apart for the Diamondbacks. That's DJ Stewart with a two-run, two-out double. Don't really know what Nick Williams was doing. It looks like he was lollygagging, but right fielder had to make the play. And Stewart will make it a 2-1 giant lead. As there's Mookie Betts grounded into the double play. Castro just got him out at first. As now let's move on later in the sixth inning. David Peralta, he's going to go knee below swing. As I know it's bad grammar, but whatever. Now seventh inning, Jake Lamb gets that one over the right fielder's head. And Mary had a little lamb, but he got gunned down as Lamb is going to be tagged out at third by Hansen. Nice play for the giant outfield. That was DJ Stewart who made the original throw. As there's Jake Lamb getting dirty with it. He's going to get Hansen out on a nice ground out. 
as there is Pavin Smith, the pinch hitter, getting a no-out single to start the bottom of the eighth. Maybe Arizona can do something with this as Nick Williams does strike out. Better after that is Marcel Ozuna getting his second base hit of the day. Two runners on, one out. Now two outs with runners in scoring position for Mookie Betts, and he's just gonna get a weak fly out to Alan Hansen. So let's go bottom nine. Derek Law is in the game to get the save. He's not been too hot this year. 7.71 ERA, nine saves, four blown. And his first batter of the inning is David Peralta. And that one is m -m money. And the D-backs are going to tie it up with a bomb from David Peralta. But it'll be D-Law's fifth blown save of the year. And why not get a loss with that as Jake Lamb will hit the home run in walk-off fashion. And the Diamondbacks survive. They had to score two here in the bottom of the ninth. And they do it. A pair of solo home runs from the veterans David Peralta and Jake Lamb. That'll be Lamb's 21st home run of the season. One of the highest marks in the National League. He's actually third in the uh, conference to be exact. As go tag home young man. D-backs get the win. Two to three. With the win in this game will be Diego Castillo. Loss goes to Derek Law. Tywin Walker finished with eight innings, only allowing two runs as Brian Goodwin and Tywin Walker look like they're trying to interrogate Lamb after his dominant home run, I should say. So now let's go to the next game about a week later against Vicenio Padres here at Petco Park. Diamondbacks sitting at 50-30. Padres are the exact opposite, 50-30. and 30, As it'll be Joey Lucchesi on the mound for the Padres, 4-4, four 3.81 four, ERA. He's been... Pretty solid so far this year. There's Marcelo Zuna. Going to get that one up the middle. Just a little almost. Lucchesi using himself as a human shield. So here's Robbie Ray on the mound. The former National League MVP. Ray hasn't quite lived up to being the reigning MVP. But he's still been pretty solid. As there's Framio Reyes. With two outs and a runner on. Going deep into left. And the Padres will start this game off with a sharp. 2-0 lead, home run number 10 on the year for Reyes. However, the inning would end on an Eric Hosmer strikeout. Former KC Royal. Speaking of former Royals, that out wasn't so dandy. Mike Moustakis going down looking. So now bottom second. This is where things start to get ugly in a hurry. As there's Jonathan Scope going yard before former Baltimore Oriole and Minnesota Twin who's hitting under 200 this year with his 11th down year of the season. And then a couple batters later, Tim Anderson with the home run, making it 4-0. Former White Sox going deep. And now let's hit the rock bottom for Robbie Ray. The batter after that, Joey Lachesi, the pitcher, goes yard. And the Padres will take a 5-0 lead. Remember, Robbie Ray just won MVP last year. He's allowing home runs to pitchers, for Christ's sakes. And then Will Myers, the batter after that, he almost goes yard. That one was awfully close. He's just going to end up grounding out to Mike Moustakas, who's playing shortstop today. A little bit unusual for him, but Simeon did get the day off. So here's the walk-off hero, Jake Lamb. He's going to end Lucchesi's perfect game, and he's going to get himself a double. Busy night in this one for Lamb. He finished three for four with a double and a pair of singles. This here's Mookie Betts now with two outs flying out. So Jake Lamb's double to start the inning, I believe, means nothing. As here's Hosmer striking out for the second time today. And then Austin Hedges, the catcher, would go join him in K-Town as that'll be Ray's third of the year. Here's Jake Lamb with his second base knock of the day here in the top of the fifth. And then after that, here would come the pinch hitter, Marcus Simeon coming in. No Robbie Ray, his day would be done. And that one will bloop into right. Runt heads home, so the shutout is over. Diamondbacks cut the lead down to 5-1. to one. And then Mookie Betts will get hit, loading the bases for Nick Williams, who would go down on the lefty-on-lefty -on -lefty crime as he swings and misses at the low inside changeup. Nice pitch from Lucchesi. Then he gets for rookie Rob Robertson. Rob with two Bs to go down. So now bottom six. There's John Duplantier in the game. And his victim is Austin Hedges who goes yard into right. As the catcher would hit that one. That would be his 17th of the year. But he would get Tim Anderson on the slider who's more blind than Helen Keller. So here's Jake Lamb. His third base hit of the day. Getting the hat trick. 
A single out into left. Can Arizona start a little rally with that? Well, maybe as Mookie Betts drops a single into center. Land hits home. So now this game is 6-2. to two. Arizona making it a little bit closer as Will Myers gets that one past the glove of Rob Robertson for a single and some miscommunication between Moustakas and Nick Williams as that is Myers' 1,000th career hit as a major league player. Quite the story for him. However, he'd be gunned down at second as Wellington Castillo, part-time ball player, full-time sniper. Castillo, more known as a hitting catcher, has shown plenty of flashes with his arm this year as here's Phil Maton for his first save of the year. Or do they not do saves with four run deficits? I don't know. As he does get Jake Lamb out, and the Padres get a win by a final score of 6-2. to two. Very nice game from Joey Lucchesi. He pitched pretty well in this one, only allowing one earned run. He also got a home run, and the D-backs go down to 50-81. and 81. So that means they're on pace to go 162. Not too shabby, Arizona.